Hey, what's going on? Orlando sent me this text saying that we should all get together since it's been a while. <laughs> and the bartender came and picked me up himself. What gives? Yeah, I'll explain that in a second. But first, thanks for coming. <sighs> so where is everyone? Why is it just us here? I had Orlando text you. I wanted to talk with you myself. But you wouldn't answer any of my calls. <sighs> so, what is it? It's over. I don't want to talk about it. Don't you get it? Yeah, I do. But I need to tell you something. Why am I putting up with this? Vincent... <sighs> what is it? This is your last chance. It was all... an illusion. Huh? What was? My cheating. Huh? There never was another woman. Are you kidding? I'm not gonna believe that. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm telling you the truth. I, I never cheated on you. <laughs> Don't be stupid. I'm serious here. I was losing it, and, and I thought I was cheating. I know, I know, it all sounds like bullshit. I was driving myself crazy too, I mean... I mean, that's a problem in of itself, but... Hey, are you serious? It's all true. My friends and the boss here showed me that it was all in my head. You don't expect me to believe this. No. I just didn't want it to end with a misunderstanding. That's why I had you come here. No, that can't be true. Then that means because of that, we... <sighs> You're lying. It's not a lie. Johnny, Orlando. Long time no see, Kay. Sorry. Don't sweat it. It'd be hard for anyone to believe a story like that at first. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't believe it either, until we heard from Erica. Huh? Besides, if this fool really did cheat on you... Well, we wouldn't help him out like this. Um... About the... illusion. Allow me to explain. You? What the heck? What's going... You see... It's all true. Please, believe me. <laughs> Catherine, let's give him some time. It may have been fake, but in my heart I was still cheating on you. I'm sorry. I know you can't forgive me for what I've done. <laughs> no, I can't. I finally woke up. <laughs> I was worried about how my life was going. I thought everything was being decided for me. I was being tossed about by the world. I had so much stress. <laughs> but after you dumped me, I figured it out. My life has no meaning without you. Why are you telling me this now? So I'll never regret not telling you. I will hold you dear for the rest of our lives. You marry me. <sighs> Catherine, I love you. This is so sudden. I... I don't mean now. Someday. That's not what I meant. <sighs> I guess... 
I'll consider it. You, you'll consider it? I... Uh, this is wonderful. Just wonderful. Hey, hey, what are you getting worked up about? Besides, I can't believe... I know, I can't either. This is perfect. What? Jeez. That is... I can barely believe this myself. It's nice to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? A perfect escape from the terrifying nightmare. You led Vincent out with your exceptional skill. Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Do you want to live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life, full of excitement? In the nightmare, Astaroth said that there is no right way to climb the tower. The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? In the finale, mm. Vincent begging his lover to come back to him. I hung on every word, wondering how she would react to his desperate plea. She was at a loss as Vincent poured his heart out to her, but in the end, she answered him with a smile. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say she's a bit too forgiven. But this is the answer Vincent discovered after forging through his nightmarish ordeal. Catherine must have felt the strength of his conviction, and she knew that this was his true answer. Maybe it depends on how much of Vincent's feelings that she can sense. You think that could be what determines the future for those two, hmm? Hey, tell me, what did you players out there think of this outcome? I sure do hope their second chance works out. Mm. Ah, they'll be all right, won't they? So are you worried about them? Mm. Cause I know I am. Well, let's peer a bit into their future together, shall we? <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? Hope to see you soon. Stay golden. Uh, testing, one, two, three. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. Now, here comes the bride. Yeah! I've been waiting for this! <laughs> All right! Yeah! Looking good. To the couple's eternal happiness, folks. A toast! Do this. Hey, boss! More champagne! Let's huh? go! Oh, yeah, I'm on it. You know, I've been thinking, maybe I should start looking for my own soulmate. Toby, you idiot! Don't record me without telling me! Hey, come on, what's the big deal? Oh, wow, this is some feast. So, just what is Chief really looking for when he talks about meeting his soulmate? Yeah, I don't know. I never asked him. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Hey, so I heard the news. This place isn't closing down after all. That's right. It's good for me since I get to hang on to my job. Huh? Although he's not gonna stop hitting on <laughs> me. Oh. He's kind of an odd one, huh? And besides... It'll be fine. I mean, I don't believe everything he said. 
but I'll go on drinking here if it keeps those dreams away. And besides, if this place ever goes under, then this town will have nothing going for it, right? Exactly. Can't have our local hangout clothes on us. Anyway, Catherine looks great in that outfit. She's wasted on you, Vince. Man, I'm so jealous. Life is so freaking unfair, you know? I'm never gonna win big like him. <laughs> oh, Erica. don't you worry now. We'll always have each other, sweet pea. I, the other guys knew you was Eric back in school. I want my damn V-card back. Sorry, but once that hole is punched, there's no refund. Uh, oh, come on, Johnny, please, for the love of God, stop recording me. <laughs> Oh, hey, what took you so long? The ferry was running behind. Orlando! I guess I should tell you, we've decided to give things another shot. Uh, another shot? What? Really? Well then, congratulations, you two. Well, it's just that, I don't know, lately I've had a little more spring in my step, you know? So, what's the plan? Try to learn from my mistakes back when I was young and dumb. This time around, things will be different, just you watch. Huh? huh? This time? I'm gonna get back into the fishing industry. Only here's the kicker, I'll be fishing exclusively for Kappa. Huh? What, just Kappa? You better believe it. I'm after the rarest beast in the sea. Eating one will give you peerless virility. Wow, that's awesome, Orlando. You really know your stuff. You got him believing in Kappa now? He never learns. No such thing. So how come your fairy was Guys, ready? heads up! The star of the show has just arrived. Yo, congrats, man. Make sure you keep your lovely bride happy, okay? All right, Toby, let's start the kiss call. Uh-huh, sounds good to me. Yeah, everyone grab your spoons. Got your glasses? Glasses up, sound off! <laughs> I love you so much, Vincent. And I love you, Catherine.